Hi, JP Fournier of The Movie Jerks here, coming to you on day 17 of Action April, the month where I watch action films I have never seen before, and I pick them one per day randomly. So what do we get for day 17? Well, we had yesterday the Marine 6. So today I'm watching Stunt Rock. Oh, sweet. The Ultimate Rush. Australian stuntman Grant Page goes to Los Angeles to work on a television series. He uses his spare time to lend his enterprise to rock band sorcery. Page helps the band develop pyrotechnic magic tricks for their shows, and also recounts his own exploits as a stuntman and daredevil, as well as various stunts by other greats. Well, uh, this is going to be Ozploitation at its finest. So day 17, I'm watching Stunt Rock. Stunt Rock. Classified as a documentary as well as a rockumentary. I believe that Stunt Rock probably fits better in the category of mockumentary. Stunt Rock focuses on the career of stuntman Grant Page. Yet the film also gives just as much screen time, if not more, to the magic performing rock band Sorcery. Watching compilations of Grant Page's stunts really demonstrates his talent here. And plenty of sequences are jaw-dropping. However, after watching the stunts without any build-up, instructions, or any information about the stunt, the movie starts to feel like you're watching someone's audition reel, rather than a feature film. We even get stunts from other motion pictures from the past inserted into the mix. When we do get dialogue, it's mainly Grant talking about how the stunts appear to be more dangerous than they really are, and never going into more detail than that. There's really very little risk at all. If there was, I wouldn't be doing it. The film never demonstrates or dissects the important steps and procedures necessary for a stunt to go through correctly without injury. And the mixing of these clips with concert scenes of this rock band performing magic tricks makes the stunts appear like they're secrets to the public as well. If you are looking for a clip show of stunts or of wizard rock, then this 86 minutes will be for you. However, if you were hoping to watch something with a plot, a functional narrative, or even interesting characters, then you might want to avoid this one. I get an improvement on your next act. What about your leap onto the stage from up here? Yeah, sounds nice. I'll have to think about that. Hey, Grant, what's the most dangerous stunt you've ever done? I'll have to think about that. There is an attempt to provide a connective narrative with interviews by a reporter and Grant connecting with sorcery to perform an overly familiar magic trick that ends with a finishing stunt. But none of the interviews are interesting or informative, and the interviews with the members of Sorcery don't do them any favors. Why do you wear a hood? Why does anyone wear a hood? Oh, uh, how does it feel? Uncomfortable. <laughs> and this makes the scenes without stunts awkward and uninteresting. into a vegetarian. Oh. I'll tell you what, I'll take him back to the chef, I'll tell him it's a little too rare. The director, Brian Trenchard Smith, even declared this to be his least favorite of all his films. And this is coming from a guy responsible for Leprechaun 4 in space. Let that be a lesson to you, lad. Always wear a prophylactic. Considering you can see clips of the best stunts within the trailer, this film is one of those I cannot recommend. I did like this one scene though. I won't leave until you say yes. Oh my God, hang on, what can I do? Say yes so I can get down from here. All right, wise guy, you win. Which seems awfully familiar. <gasps> say it. I wanna go out with you. Say it again. I wanna go out with you. All right, all right, we'll go out. For shame. 
And there you go. Day 17 of Action April. This time I watched Stunt Rock. What action films have your favorite stunts in? Let us know in the comments section. And if you're curious about other films I am watching this month, be sure to hit the subscribe button for updates daily. And for other information about The Movie Jerks, you can go to www.themoviejerks.ca.